Okay, so this is a continuation of the uh, the main Apple II repair video. Um, to, in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the the 2C disk drive and basically, you know, clean it up and you know, get, getting it working. I mean, right now it works. It's just uh, I imagine it's pretty dirty inside. The, the, the outside is definitely dirty. It's uh, it's pretty filthy. But anyway, if, if, you know, I'll really really quickly I'll go over this thing. Um, so you know, this is a you know basically the second drive for the 2C. It connects uh, with a with this uh, port here, this is actually called the Smart Port by Apple. Um, you'll basically only find this on the 2C. It's uh, designed to be plug and play. And this is the only thing you need to connect a disk drive up, because on the back of the unit here, you know, the, you know there is no power outlet. This con this controls your this carries your power and your data. So uh, this actually this thing's actually you know pretty it's pretty nice. It's you know just plug and play, you plug it in and whatever you know Apple II software are using that that can use this thing you know you know it'll work just fine um, so this thing's pretty it's pretty dirty um, you know it's pretty yellowed and everything it might not look too yellowed in the video but just in natural light it's, it's pretty nasty so um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up um, I'm gonna re remove the yellowing and uh, we'll take it apart and clean the disk drive as well so um, so yeah let's get into it Okay, so real quickly, let's, let's take a look at the tools you're going to need to fix your uh, your disk drive here. So, in order to actually get it open um, and maybe uh, take some shielding off inside, you're going to need a number one and number two screwdriver. Um, I'm also going to be using some 91% alcohol in the Q-tip to clean the, the read and write head um, inside the actual disk drive to uh, clean that up. And um, I'm also going to be using this uh, Salon Care 40 volume cream stuff I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, on the actual case to uh, de-yellow it. If you want to use some uh, just the regular 3% hydrogen peroxide, maybe you can you know do something with that. Uh, but you know the options there are available to you if you uh, if you need it. But otherwise, the disk drives are not actually broken, so I won't be repairing them. Um, it's just kind of like some just some maintenance and uh, some de-yellowing of the plastic. So uh, so yeah, that's about it, guys. That's all that, all it is on the uh, on the actual disk drives. Okay, so let's go ahead and tear this thing down. Um, on the bottom of this unit, we have this uh, the sticker that says, you know, disc 2C. So there you go. And we also have eight screws on this thing. So we have uh, two screws here at the top. We have two screws here at the bottom. And then we have four screws here in the middle. Uh, so I presume that the, the four on the outside actually hold the, the top of the case on. And these four in the middle actually hold the disc drive in. Uh, I don't know. I haven't actually taken this thing apart. Uh, but that's just what I'm guessing, so let's go ahead and uh, tear into it. Okay, so let's flip this thing over, and the uh, top should lift off. There we go. And not a whole lot, of, there's no, actually, no, not in any vents. I mean, this is just for looks, honestly. So, there's that. And then the disk drive here, it looks like it's just one unit. I don't see any, no, there's no controller board in there. It's all it's all kept inside the disk drive. So uh, let's take this grommet out here. Let's see if we can get this thing out. All right, so that's out. And then I guess the disk drive is just, yeah, it should just lift out. So there we go. So the bottom of the, of the the unit does have vents not on top though and the disk drive itself is just all a self-contained unit so yeah hmm and the belt's still good on this one so that's pretty rare good on apple with their uh good quality belts I like that so it looks like this guy just uh it plugs into the side of the of the unit it's got a ground lead there um, and the controller board is just inside there so yeah pretty neat that's uh you just uh, plug and play and uh and there you go so um i want to go ahead i'm going to go, uh, go ahead and clean the plastic you know remo uh, cleaned up remo wash it and remove the yellowing and uh while that's doing uh we'll go ahead and uh, clean the disk drive out okay so i'm back i uh i actually just took the case 
and this front face plate um, out and put the uh, that peroxide treatment on it like I was talking about in the main Apple II repair video that um that that's uh that's up. Uh, because I just wanted to get it all done in one go because there's you know it just takes several hours to do this to actually clean the plastic and get the yellow off. So yeah, I mean I actually took this off and went and cleaned it and, and put it back just for the sake of this video. Um, but basically, what I'm just going to show you guys how to tear one of these down, you know, how to how to take it apart and how to clean it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so first off, on the disc 2C, it's actually got the you know the the smart port for the smart port uh, interface here. So it's just uh, this is like a little cable with a, a header on it. Um, now, as I was kind of working with this, this looks uncannily like you know just just a five and a quarter inch drive out of you know just the apple 2c just the just the computer itself and so i went and grabbed um just the internal disk drive and and checked it out and they're exactly the same so this is one i haven't cleaned yet this is out of my original broken computer um guys these are literally the exact same drive which it shouldn't be ex it shouldn't be really ex surprising however there's one note uh one thing to take note of and that's if you're, I, I guess if you really wanted to and the uh, internal disk drive in your 2C uh, has failed, you could actually take, you know, steal one out of a disk 2C if you really wanted to and put it in your actual computer. Um, because, I mean, the interface here on the disk drive are, are the exact same. It's the exact same thing. It's just a different cable. So basically this, the cable here that connects into the back of the computer is just an external version of a ribbon cable. That's it. So, uh, you know, just some compatibility info in information for you, just in case you ever need that. There you go. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to point that out. We can get rid of this cable. So yeah, just uh, just an interesting note there. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and take this take this guy apart. So there's uh, there's four screws holding the cage on, and then there's uh, eight uh, excuse me four screws holding this front face plate on. So we'll go ahead and take these out right here. And then the cage will just lift off, just like so. And here we have the internals of the disc drive. So here's our. Uh, controller board here and then we have another controller board here on the bottom and we have our pulley system and everything so mainly what we're concerned about is in the in an actual disk drive is just cleaning out any just floating dust so just dust that just really hasn't caked on it's just kind of in there so go ahead and get some compressed air or an air compressor uh, just kind of lightly blow the blow the whole unit out just to get rid of any dust floating around um, another thing to, to take note of is we want to clean the actual um, the, the head of the floppy here and then if yours is really badly yellowed like mine is um, to clean the actual bezel here and also the, the little lever um, take note on the on the on the t disc 2c there is a uh, an uh, uh, activity LED here and it just runs down here all the way over here to the controller board and it plugs in right there um, so it's it's literally just an LED that plugs in that's it um, apart from that this is uh, the exact same drive of the internal um, disk drive so very compatible these two so um, with that out of the way while we're in here I'm gonna go ahead and just disassemble this just to show you how to do it. So you got two screws here on this side. And you'll notice here we have a spring, so make sure you don't lose that. That's the actual spring that makes the uh, the lever, you know, spring back and forth. So um, what you can do, I mean, this is really easy to do. You basically just be, be gentle and just slide slide this entire front bezel, including the lever, just slide it out because um, it just kind of slots in there. So just kind of grab it, 
hold down hold down this guy here just so the spring doesn't go anywhere and it literally just slides right off and then we have this I forgot to mention it kind of the uh, LED wire kind of clips in here on the bottom but anyway so yeah there is the uh, so there's the front bezel uh, like I said I've already cleaned it but um, you can go ahead and clean it if you want to it's up to you but yeah it's literally just uh, just an LED so anyway set that off to the side and here we have the front of the disk drive here's the the actual I don't know what you call this the the top of the head or whatever um, just kind of kind of on a spring and so uh, what we can do at this point um, you know while we're off cleaning the uh, the actual bezel um, we can clean the the head of the floppy uh, disk here or the floppy drive and uh, this guy right here this is actually just like a little thing that kind of rubs on the disk uh, since this is only a this is a single-sided drive so there's no there aren't there are not two heads here it's just a head on the bottom and then the top is just kind of like a little felt piece so if we uh, if we just lift this guy up here we see the the head right there and then uh, you can see right here this is just a little little piece of felt that just rubs on the disk drive just to I don't know why just to keep it in place I guess I don't know but um, if you really want to I guess you could clean that just give it a little scrub with some alcohol in the q-tip okay and then the actual uh, the reading right head here it looks to be a little bit dirty it's not too bad though so I'm just gonna take my q-tip and alcohol here and I'm just gonna give it a uh, a light cleaning just like that okay so that looks pretty clean so there's that apart from cleaning the head and just kind of any any residual dust inside the unit there's not much else to do um, if you actually needed to I guess you could service the belt if you uh, you know if this was broken or whatever you could do that uh, but mechanically there's not much else you can do really the only other thing I can think of is if you uh, want to degrease the rails in here um, you can do that I think I'll just get in there with a q-tip and some and some grease and just kind of lightly grease it grease the two rails um, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll just do that instead of actually taking this whole thing apart it's a little bit too much trouble but yeah uh, apart from that there's not much you can do uh, just you know make sure that the uh, the actual head is clean uh, the felt piece is clean and uh, just clean that bezel the front bezel if you want to just get it nice and white uh, blow any dust out and that's about it guys so uh, I'll go ahead and reassemble this uh, this drive and we'll go ahead and put it back in the case so before I actually start assembling this there's one uh, one important note I want to make you aware of um, it's a little bit tricky to get this thing back in if you don't know how to do it um, so what I start off doing is the actual the little the handle here or whatever you call it it's actually got some some little some little uh, guides on it and it actually slots into this this front piece right here and then the spring uh, clips onto that little nub so when you go back to reassemble this the the, the easiest way I found I found to do it is to just slot the handle in first kind of like this and then just align the spring so it get so it's going to attach that little nub just like that and then you can take the rest of the disk drive and just kind of slide or the, the rest of the bezel and just kind of slide it on and uh and yeah so you can uh, that's actually the, the easiest way i find to do it so just a just a little note there
Okay, so I'm done with the disc drive here. It's all nice and pearly white, just came out of the sun. So uh, it's time to go ahead and install the, the drive back in. Uh, but before I do that, I wanna make you aware of some precautions uh, that you need to you need, you need to take um, just so you don't ruin yours, kind of like I did mine. Um, so I was actually uh, kind of dumb and forgot to do this. Uh, so the 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 chemical I was using, you know, it, it, it cleaned the plastic really well. I mean, it does a great job. However, the uh, the Apple logo here it got kind of faded and it's kind of uh, kind of crackled a little bit. So uh, that's that's because I forgot to put tape over that when I was uh, when I was doing this. So yeah, don't do what I did and make sure you put some tape over that. You might have to cut it out with a razor blade, but take your time and do that. Also, uh, I, I did this. So the, the label on the bottom used to be a kind of like a black and gray, and now it's turned green. So yeah, don't do what I did. I kind of ruined this. Um, not really a big deal since you'd never see this, but eh, I, I would rather it be original looking. So yeah, don't do that. Also, the uh, little the little um, rubber pads here. When you apply the uh, when you apply that that peroxide cleaning stuff I was using, these get really sticky. So I would also put some tape over that, or just avoid them altogether. It's up to you. But yeah, uh, these they're just they're sticky now. So I want to try to uh, remedy that. With maybe some talc powder or something. Just a little bit. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, just don't do what I did take some precautions like I forgot to do and to do it right but anyway uh, let's go ahead and get into uh, uh, this is uh, reassembly so I'm gonna go ahead and take my case here and I got my cable ready so I'm just going to grommet this guy in back here and that'll hang out. Okay. And before I actually put this in, I need to take my ground lead, put it in that last screw hole right there, and then we'll put that guy there in. Actually, vice versa. This guy in. So there's the bottom half. Okay, looks good. Everything's seated properly, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Okay. So then, just take the top half, slot it on. And there we go. I must say that looks a lot better when it's not yellow. So we'll go ahead and put the screws back in. Okay guys, so there you go. Uh, it's all nice and clean now. Still gotta clean the cable, it's pretty dirty, but you know, otherwise, great looking machine now. So I uh, hope that gives you a little bit of information on how to clean your disc 2C if you ever need to. It's actually you know, pretty simply built. You just gotta, gotta have to know how to take it apart and clean it. So, so there you go guys, uh, rebuilt disc 2C drive. If you want to see this thing in action, um, you know, after I, since we got it cleaned up and everything, watch the, uh, the main actual Apple IIc uh, repair video. At the end of that one, I'm going to actually, you know, demo everything just to make sure it works. Uh, so just click on the annotation to watch that.